I love storing things in a practical way that can also add a little decor to a space. So today I'm going to build a really simple clean line clothes rack for my daughter's dress up clothes. It's also going to add a little color to the playroom. Since my 1x2s are going to serve as the legs and cross over each other like this, my first step is to cut a 15 degree angle at the bottom of all four legs so that they sit nice and flush on the ground. Then I'm measuring up 45 inches and cutting another 15 degree angle parallel to the first one. to use this wooden dowel as the rod to put the hangers on, but I need some way to attach it to my one by two legs. So what I'm going to do is drill holes in the legs about the same width as my dowel, then I'll stick it in there and glue everything all together. You can use whatever length of dowel you'd like. I don't want mine to take up too much space, so I'm cutting it down to 38 inches. I'm drilling two holes on each leg, so I'm clamping two pieces to my tabletop at one time. The first hole is 5 16 inch, about 22 inches from the bottom. Then I'm drilling a 7 8 inch hole, 8 inches from the top. I'm not planning on staining or sealing any of the wood but I do want to make sure that it's safe for my kids and they don't get any splinters. So I'm going to get everything sanded before I put it together. With all the wood nice and smooth, I'm ready to attach it all together. To keep the clean lines going, I'm not using any fasteners. It'll all be held together with Type-On wood glue. Apply a little around the dowel holes. Adjust your legs to 19 inches apart so that the angle cut on the bottom will sit flush on the ground. And then clamp it all together while the glue sets up. Thankfully, this particular glue has a short clamp time. Once both sets of legs are clamped, apply some more glue to the end of your dowel and twist into position. Another reason I love this wood glue is that it cleans up with water, which is a good thing because I got a little overzealous putting it on the dowel here and it's all over it. So I'm just gonna clean it up real quick with a wet rag. Now it's time for the finishing touches. I'm using a lightweight one inch foam ball to cover the end of the dowels. Then I'm attaching small rope to the lower holes to keep the kiddos from trying to spread the rack's legs too far. Everything looks better on matching hangers. And there's still room for accessories underneath. Thanks for checking in. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.